A trip down memory lane that takes people back to Singapore in the 1950s right up to the present day. The Home Truly exhibition opens this Saturday at the National Museum, and people can relive those moments through sights, sounds, and even smells. You can get a whiff of curry or rojak at this station. Dive deep into the past with images you might have never seen before, like the land reclamation sites at Marine Parade and at East Coast. Check out some of Singapore's first few elections, as well as National Day parades. In a first for the museum, the exhibition also caters for the visually impaired, starting from January, with a smart cane prototype and an audio tour. They'll be able to enjoy the exhibits. For more, we are joined by its curator, Natasha Mano, Senior Assistant Director of the National Heritage Board. So, uh, Natasha, let's just zoom into some of the um, exhibits. So what do these tell us about life back in the 50s and uh, are there particular aspects which have not changed? Hi, thanks so much for having me here this evening. So, um, as part of our process in curating the exhibition, we really wanted to bring out home from the perspective and voices of the people. And this was very much a part of our curatorial process. So, as part of the exhibition, as you'll see, it's very much told through oral histories. It's told through conversations that we had, we've had with people through engagement sessions, as well as through an open call for photos and memories that we conducted earlier this year. And I think what really struck us was that um, as people who have lived and grown up in Singapore, there are many common experiences we have, such as going to school or whether it's celebrating festivals together. And it was interesting to see how people from different generations really connected in talking and discussing about these events and in being able to share experiences across generations. So some of the interesting artifacts that we have on display, um, objects that we really feel tell and speak of the lived experiences in Singapore are the objects that we see now, the identity cards. Um, we have two identity cards that were on display, and these are the two identity cards out of almost a million that were issued to newly independent, the citizens of newly independent Singapore in 1966. These were donated specially to the museum for the exhibition, and all of us have an, an IC card with us today, and it was quite special that we do have these two cards right from the 1966, and the, the very first time that identity cards were issued to citizens of newly independent Singapore. Uh, we also talk about sights and sounds and smells. Um, one of the first things that we hope people will pick up when they step into the exhibition space is a soundscape that we've commissioned called A Day in a Life of Singapore. And this soundscape captures some distinctive sounds that people might find familiar from dawn to dusk, whether it is uh, the sound of the coel bird in the morning to even um, hawkers cooking food or um, tap, a tap of an easy link card. So just really sounds that are very much reflective of our lived experiences in Singapore. Um, we wanted to create a multi-sensory experience for visitors and through the exhibition we are presenting little vignettes that speak of life in Singapore. One of them is a hawker centre setting and here when visitors step into the space uh, we do have a, a fish curry sense that we hope will really bring back the experience of eating out with family and with friends as well. So we do have um, 80 different objects on display from our national collection and 200 photographs across our physical and digital platforms. And about a quarter of these came from the community. So um, it's been really encouraging to, to be able to present this um, as an exhibition told through the voices of the people. Natasha, in the first, in a, it's the first for the museum, uh, visually impaired as well will be able to enjoy the exhibits. Uh, talk us uh, through how that will work. Yes, that's right. So I think for us in curating an exhibition about home, we also talked about what it was like for different people who may experience home in different ways. So we do have a physical and emotional connection to home, people who are visually impaired, uh, may experience home in a different way from us in, in terms of sights and, and sounds and smells. And we really wanted to provide them with an experience in order to navigate the exhibition as well. So this is something that we've worked very closely with our collaborating partners from Nanyang Polytechnic as well as, as Guide Dog Singapore on. Um, we've had volunteers who've helped us to test um, what we are developing, which is a pilot smart cane prototype. Um, this smart cane will help visually impaired visitors find their way throughout the exhibition space, as well as come with a, an, a layer of descriptive audio content that describes what they see and, uh, sorry, describes what they, they can hear and experience around them. So it provides more descriptive detail 
of the images that are on display. It prompts them to listen out to sounds or to look out uh, to, to hear um, the different sensory landscapes that we have in the exhibition as well. So um, we hope that this is a way that they can experience the exhibition as well. And we do hope to see how this can be piloted and refined through the rest of our galleries as well. Well, I'm afraid uh, that's all the time we have. But thanks so much, uh, Natasha uh, Mano, the curator, senior assistant director, the National Heritage Board.